r slash ask reddit what is something that 90 percent of people don't seem to understand which direction to move when someone is approaching you on a sidewalk if you assume people drive how they walk traffic makes more sense so basically driving is a higher stakes version of walking if everyone followed the rules of driving while walking we wouldn't have these situations if we take a look at how certain people drive however Insulting someone's choice intelligence is not going to change their mind. I've always heard that the second you start to insult someone, you've lost the argument. Throwing dirt is losing ground. Similarly, insulting someone is not a good way to get them to do something. Guy, hey, can you do, thing, me, ooh um, sure, just let me finish this thing I am working on. Guy, come on man, just do, thing real quick. Don't be in a shat, me, duck you, now I am not going to do it at all, why, why, me, because you called me in a shat. In the US, the first amendment protects you from government infringement on, most, free speech, it does nothing to keep you from being banned from private establishments, shunned by your peers, or denied private employment. It also doesn't mean that all points of view are valid or exempt from criticism and contempt. You can say what you want, but I am equally within my rights to tell you you're wrong. I'm offended that you would have an opinion. The hell bro, your opinion goes against mine. Being louder does not equal being right. In a similar vein, a lot of people believing something doesn't make it right. I get really sick of seeing news headlines based on some survey about what people think instead of actual facts. Like 50% of Americans believe Trump committed an obstruction of justice or 40% of Americans don't believe in global warming. Whether or not Trump did that and whether or not the earth is warming up are objective facts. They will be true or false no matter how many people believe them. Thanks to people for providing better examples of what I was trying to say, the original example wasn't that great. If you wait for people to get off of a public transportation vehicle before getting on there will be more room for you in there. Plus you won't be pushed by anybody. Such simple logic. Plus it's the law in the UK I believe. London commuters are always in a rush but succeed in letting people off the tube before boarding. It's not against the law in the UK. People just let people off first because it's the polite thing to do and they'll get tutted at by other passengers if they don't. That 10% of 90% is exactly the same as 90% of 10%. I taught high school math once. True story. X% percent of Y equals XY slash 100. Y% percent of X equals YX slash 100 equals XY slash 100. Signaling before you turn actually lets the other driver's people know where you intend to go. Your turn signal should be on before you apply the brakes. Safety assessment. 90% of people spend considerable amounts of money on things that will only marginally improve their safety. Egg. Fancy child safety seats. While failing to spend small amounts of money on things that will dramatically improve their safety. Egg. Fire extinguishers. They also forget that safety equipment can't make up for stupidity. Buying a Volvo and then proceeding to drive like a stampeding herd of hippos at 100 miles per hour on the highway is not safe. Despite the zillion airbags. Even a single hippo is quite dangerous. The idea of a herd of them in angry Volvos is terrifying. Correlation does not equate to causation. 100% of people who read this comment. Fart. Everyone that consumes dehydrogen monoxide will die. If you consume fewer calories than you burn off, you will lose weight. I know that this will sound really stupid. I still don't know how to calculate calories burned. I've tried to google it but they use words and abbreviations that I don't know. I am looking to lose about 70 pounds but calories are a mystery to me. Focus more on your diet than what you're burning. Get my fitness pal and input your current weight and your target weight and how much you want to lose per week. You then input everything you eat every day and it will count the calories for you. If you stick to it, your weight will drop consistently. Adding exercise into it will simply speed up the process. There are other people in the room who don't want to listen to your shitty music. Use your ducking headphones. Spatial awareness. Know that, when you're out in public. There are other people around you who need to share that same space with you. I'm looking at you. 
middle-aged empty nest couple at the grocery store who managed to block 20 feet of aisle together. The biggest issues with Ali aren't going to look like Skynet, they'll look a lot more like Dilbert. We aren't going to see some global system that decides that John Connor is to die. We're going to see 5 or 6 completely unrelated, competing, or interconnected in unintended and untested ways. That completely duck men are John Connor's over. But since they don't affect a majority of the population in the same way, we'll just accept it. Until we're in a deep hole and we start to realize what's going on. Read the RE misinformation epidemic. That freedom of speech is not equivalent to freedom from consequences of their idiocy. But reacting to someone else's free speech with violence isn't okay. People seem to be forgetting that lately. Because it's in a meme does not make it true. You take that back. Nope. Sorry. You're wrong. Memes are digital facts. What a transistor is. Despite it being the building block of modern technology. The semiconductor industry is just a giant scamper turning sand into money. The definition of a scientific theory. That's like, your theory man. I personally blame economists. So much stuff there should be called models or hypotheses is called theories or laws instead. The economy. Those manufacturing jobs ain't ever coming back. It's simply more cost effective to contract your production overseas or to Mexico. Plus automation. You can't stop the robots. The space I leave between me and the car in front of me is not for others to pull into and then immediately stop, slow down, or turn without a signal. It's called proper following distance. When you keep adding new tasks, but you aren't adding new pay, at some point people are going to start really half assing it. The correct way to handle a closed lane on a multi-lane road, or a multi-lane road merging into one lane is to stay in your lane until you reach the merge point, and then take turns merging, called a zipper merge or alternate merge. Merging early effectively reduces the road's carrying capacity and lengthens the tailbacks. Custom furniture is ducking expensive. I make furniture for a living. When people find out I bombarded with I saw this on Pinterest, can you make it for $50? Duck no. I charge $35 an hour minimum. That doesn't even cover materials or shop time. And no I am not going to use your duck eyeing pallet wood. Don't click on the goddamn flashing download now. Button. Dentist here. Brush your teeth twice daily. Floss a few times a week and don't go to sleep with a filthy ass mouth. This would save me like 90% of my job. That bug types resist ground type attacks. Done. It's spelled lose not loose I cannot believe the amount of people who get that wrong. That carbs shouldn't make up 50% of your diet. We were all raised to follow the old, now withdrawn, food pyramid. It came with an explosion in obesity and diabetes. Farmers feed their stock carbs to fatten them up before slaughter. Meanwhile, people still think eating fat will kill them early. It's quite the opposite. The government took the pyramid away, but didn't do anything to re-educate the public. Slowly doctors are starting to re-educate, but most folks still believe these old dietary guidelines. The enemy is sugar, period. If everybody were to dramatically cut down their sugar content, they'd be happier, slimmer, and healthier in general. We consume an absurd amount of sugar. It's causing diabetes, obesity. It's ducking with our happiness by reducing our serotonin levels over time. It's fine in moderation like most things but sugar consumption is out of control. Not really sure why this is being downvoted. If you don't think I'm correct, then you're mistaken. I have said it before and I will say it again. I don't speak with an accent or what every Midwest American says. I wish I spoke with an accent. Of course you do. Everyone does. It's quite literally impossible to speak without one. Why don't people understand this? That retail stores don't magically have your product ready to go for you in the back. It's all a mess back there and I'm not gonna unpack the pallets for just you. In the US right lane driving countries left lane is only for passing and highways drivers should stay on the right lane if they are not passing. Staying on the left lane because you're going the speed limit should not be acceptable. Vice versa for left lane driving countries. Ducking third shift. 
If you work it, you're cursed with an aura that screams today walkers please wake me up at 10am. I'm only 4-5 hours deep into my sleep schedule. I've had to have multiple sit downs with my so and explain to her it's not okay to wake me up at 8 in the duck in morning to tell me about things she did yesterday. That's what the evening is for. Or lunch if we go out together. It's unbelievable how disrespectful not thoughtful people are of your sleep schedule. My boss calling me at 11am and telling me about some work related things. Then insinuating I'm lazy because I'm still asleep. Beach. I go to bed between 6 and 7 a.m. Please tell me how I'm lazy by trying to get a normal amount of sleep. It's such a small issue. But it's so infuriating that people just don't understand third shift means people need to sleep later than normies. I would estimate that 99% of people have no real concept of just how big and empty the universe is. Whoa. You made it to the end? You're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh. It's free and that's a great price.